Hello and welcome to Type. I am Ahmad Adnan. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the design between Calendar and Calendar Auto that function in Microsoft Power BI. So let's get started. We have the sales schedule and the sales may not be on every day. There may be some gap between them. To analyze those days and the sales time, for sure we need a calendar table. To make our life easier, Microsoft Power BI team has given us two simple tax functions to generate a calendar table. Let's create a new table. Go to the data tab on the left. Click on the modeling tab on the above and click on new table now give it a name calendar returns a table with one column of all days between start and end date. So I have used a minimum and max function here. For the minimum tax function, I have made a video. If you haven't seen that, please go and support that video from the link given on the top of the screen. Coming back to this one, I have written a DAX function calendar minimum of orders date, that is sales date, and maximum of sales date. Click on OK, submit. So the calendar date has been generated from 3rd January 2014 so continuously till 30 December 2017 now let's create another table with calendar auto function return a table with one column of days calculated from the model automatically Calendar Auto, the fiscal year end month is an optional one. So as of now, I don't want to give any month here. So I'm just looking it. I will explain that in a later stage. So click Commit. So it has generated from 1st of January to 31st of December. If you have noticed between the calendar and calendar auto function, the sales started from 3rd of January and ends on 30th December. Whereas in calendar auto, it has started from the starting of the month, that is January 1st, and ends on 31st December, that is the end of the month. Okay. If I now go back to this JAC function again, the fiscal year, right? The purpose of this one is if you want to analyze some data based on the financial year of your company. So for example, in two companies they maintain from January to December. Whereas in some other countries they maintain April to March. In that case, by default it will work January to December. If you want to change to April to March, if you want to start from April to March, end month right so March is the end month here click 3 that is the third month mark just have a look at the table before committing this one please have a look at the table 1st of January 2014 31st December 2018 if you click commit what will happen is you start from the financial year previous year also 1st of April 2013 and ends on 
31st March 2018 itself. Hope I explain the difference between the calendar and calendar auto in a short video. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you have any queries, comment, feedback, please comment below. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get the latest notification. Make sure you turn on the notification on your device. For more videos, please visit our channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video and keep learning.